Welcome back to an RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today I'm going to do an editor overview so you can better understand the layout of the editor. I'll also show you how to transition to Unity editors or have a dual RPG Maker Unite and Unity editor. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we see when we open up RPG Maker Unite is we see the kind of preview for the game. All right, and so if we want to play that, we can just simply click play test and it's going to basically load up a play test of the game. So you actually play test this game inside your editor. And so you can just, you know, just play test it like normal. And then if you want to get out of it, you just simply click on the pause and it will exit it back out and you can go back to editing. All right. So this leads us up to the options up here. I've covered this before, but this is how you create a new game. You can create one with just assets only or with a sample project. You have this button right here, which is going to open up the Unity Hub. Now it wants, it's basically saying it's gonna open up the folder, but what it does is it opens up the Unity Hub and then you can go here and you can say show and explore. And this is going to actually be where the folder is. So moving along, we have the save button. This is going to be the build button. So this is gonna how you export your game into an actual game. You can see that you have your target platform right now. It's Windows, cause that's all I have installed. If you want more options, you will definitely have to download more packages. For that, you can build, build and run. These are just base Unity options. And the next button is going to be your exit project button. So if you click on this, the project's going to close down. This, of course, is the playtest button and the stop playtest button when you actually do that. This button right here is going to be your add on buttons. These are basically the same as plugins for those coming from MVMZ. And this is where you're going to have your list of add ons. This will be another video on how to install and even the base template for an add on if you want to create them. And if you are new to RPG Maker in general, what an add-on is, is it's just a way to extend the editor or the engine. Now, the reason I just described these real quick is because they don't have tool tips. So hopefully this will help you understand those buttons a little better right off the bat. All right, so now let's just go over the general editor overview right here. So on the left-hand side right here, you're gonna see database. You see that if you collapse it, you get all this stuff. This is going to be a combination if you come from previous RPG makers, this is a combination of the database and maps and resources. All right. So you're going to have like your initial settings, title screen options, system settings, stuff like this. You're also going to have your characters. These are just typical things that you would find in a typical RPG maker database. But if you come down here, you're also going to have map settings. This is where you're going to have your map list and you're going to have like your maps, for instance. So if you click on edit this map here, you're going to be able to edit this map from right here. So that's what the database is. It contains kind of a more full package of everything. Now you'll notice that when we click on these things that over here we have settings. And that is because on every option of the database that you select, there are going to be the settings associated to it on the right side. So you can see on the title screen, we have all these different options. Here you can change the background image like this if I wanted to. And you can see that now if I click on system settings, here are my system settings. And here is the list of the platforms as well that you could select. And then we have the options. And you can just see that these settings are gonna change depending on what I have selected over here, which is kind of cool. Now, let's keep moving on here. Let's go down to the outline. Now, this outline right here, it also contains the event searcher, but most of it's just the outline. The outline is found on this tab right here. And this is basically just kind of the flow of your game. It's in the form of right click, you can say create a chapter or create sections. So these bright purple ones, these are chapters. And then these lighter colored pink ones, I think, or maybe light purple, they are sections. And so you can see that the starter tin, this is a chapter. And then when you click into it, you now have sections. So trying one's ability is a section and setting off is a section, All right. So here is trying one's ability. And then here is setting off. So you can see that that is how this works. And I'm not going to go into exactly how to use the outline right now. This is just an overview, but this is where this section is, is outplaying. And really the outline is one of the more optional parts of RPG Maker Unite. You don't have to have an outline. The outline is there to make it easier to understand your game from just a bird's eye view, what the flow of the game is, what levels are going to be designated for each chapter, stuff like this. And the other thing in the outline is this event searcher right here where you can search for switches, variables, or text. You can just find them and it will show what chapter, what section, what map, coordinates. It will show a lot of information right here based on what you 
look for. Now, if you're wondering where the switches are, they're just right here. Switches, you got your variables, you have your common events, stuff like this. Common event for those new to RPG Maker, they are events that can be running constantly or basically like more function-like events where you can just have one common event and you can use it over and over with other events. And again, there'll be another video on exactly what's an event and stuff like this, but let's just keep continuing this overview here. So that kind of sums up the options that you have to click on. Basically, you have your database, you have your outline stuff. When you click on something in the database, you now have settings to click on on the right hand side. And so now let's go to exactly what these tabs are. So this is the outline. So when you click on the outline, it's, it's going to come here. We also have the scene preview. So this scene preview is going to change depending on what you have selected. Like for instance, I'm kind of in the title settings. The options doesn't have a preview, so it just defaults to what the last one was. But if I click on UI settings and say go to shared settings, now this scene preview is going to show the UI options. And now I'll have a bunch of UI options right here. And so then we've already discussed the outline. The game is actually going to be the, the game that you're playing. And so when you play test, it's going to default to this tab and start playing the game. And then you have your scene map, which is going to be where you're starting to edit your map and stuff like this. Now, when you are on the scene map, just take a look down here. You have the parallax, a background option. You have a collision options, A, B, C, D layers, as well as your shadow pen layers. So these will be pretty familiar. This will be a tutorial on how to create a map in general. But just notice that the editor does change when you click on the scene map. All right, so continuing on with editor stuff, we have this button right here that shows your undo history. We have a global search option right here. If you want to bring up the debug right here, you can just click on it and you'll have, this is just the general Unity debugger. So you can kind of see stuff like this. These are gonna appear kind of when you first create an RPG Maker project, you can just clear them out just like this. And then pressing X will just lower it back to here. So yeah, if you have errors, they'll pop up right here. You can just click on it and bring it up. You can also click on these over here as well. All right, so over here you have some account stuff. Right here is version control. And then you have some account options right here. Now there's one last thing that I wanna point out for the editor that's pretty important, especially for those that are wanting to extend the editor and stuff like this. You can go to Windows RPG Maker mode and you can actually change the mode. So right now we're in RPG Maker focused mode. That's why we don't see a Unity editor. This is what's gonna be really nice for traditional RPG Maker users where you're just used to just one editor for everything. Now, if you want to go to extend some stuff, you can actually click on RPG Maker plus Unity editor. This is going to, of course, switch over if I move this over here you now have access to the unity editor side of this all right so then if you go back to window go to rpg maker mode you can go to the unity editor so if you click this option you can see that it's just only the unity editor so this is going to be interesting for those of you that want to experiment i definitely would only recommend this for people that want to extend RPG Maker Unite or want to use the traditional Unity editor and wants to figure out all that stuff. But for most people, I'm going to say you want to go back to Windows and you want to stick in your RPG Maker focused mode. And so you can just transfer right back by clicking on the Windows in the Unity editor and coming right back to this focused mode. And every time that you open the project, I'm pretty sure it will always go to the focus mode. So you will have to switch Windows every time you open your project. And I don't think I've shown this before, but if you do want to open this project, say you closed it and wanted to open it again, you would just go to your Unity Hub and you would just click on the project right here and it would open right back up. And the last thing I'll leave you with is that you do have access to the normal project settings in Unity and the preferences in Unity as well. Hopefully this video helped you understand the layout of the RPG Maker Unite Editor, as well as show the relationship between it and the Unity Editor. And so if you have any questions, comments below or the RPG Maker Unite channel on the Discord, we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.